Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Michael J. Hopefully you already knew that. Uh, these are my video game pickups from January, February, March, April, May. April and May 2014. Um, sorry it's coming a few days late. I tried recording this two days ago, but I actually lost a, uh, one of my pickups. And I looked for it and looked for it and looked for it and I finally just found it late last night. So now I'm recording it. Um, I'll just go ahead and get started with 360 games. I think that's what I usually do. Um, as usual, I do have my phone here with all my pickups and how much I paid for them all. And I'll just go ahead and get started from the top. Uh, GeForce, I got complete from GameStop for $9.29, but I had a $3 off coupon, so it was $6.29. I've played it. Um, I actually played it a while ago. One of my old neighbors rented it from Blockbuster. It was fun. I, I played it now. It's not as fun as it was when it came out. But, uh... Nevertheless, still not a bad game. Haven't beat it yet, but I have started to play it. <clears throat> uh, these three, I actually got all from the same place. I'll just go ahead and get started with these. Um, an Xbox 360 demo from the official Xbox magazine. This is from December of 2007, issue number 77. Case is pretty beat up, but the disc is in here. It plays fine, and the artwork is intact. It's pretty nice condition besides the case. Um... That was a dollar at the flea market. I'm not sure if I said that. This was also a dollar at the flea market. It's Dead Rising. Uh, crappy third-party case. Crappy third-party artwork. No manual. Disc only. Uh, the disc, I don't know if you guys can tell. It has definitely been resurfaced. It has uh, the little like circles all over it. But it does play. And it plays fairly well, too. It plays flawlessly, actually. But uh, it's got like some nasty yellow stuff uh, like all inside the case and everything. But I'm going to trash the case anyways, <clears throat> and I'm probably actually going to give that to Nick because he no longer has it. Uh, that was also a dollar. Uh, Red Dead Redemption from the same guy, also a dollar, but it says Grand Theft Auto on the front. Why does it say that? Right, let's find out. Oh, look at that, Grand Theft Auto 4. I had my sunglasses on when I checked the condition of this, and I just completely didn't even know that it has, like, looks kind of like burn marks in the middle, and uh, scratches are actually pretty bad in the middle. I didn't really realize that at the time until I got home and I was kind of upset, but whatever. I only lost a dollar, so that does not work, sadly. That's the only pickup that doesn't work, though. Alright, uh, next, Halo 3. I got this for free. I won a Space Patrol's giveaway. If you don't know who Space Patrol is, first off, you're missing out. He's got some awesome videos. Go check him out. I'm sure I'll throw a link down in the description. And I even asked him to go ahead and sign it. Because, I mean, his videos are awesome. Why wouldn't I want him to sign it? Uh, the disc is not in here at the time because it's in my Xbox because I was playing it. But, as you see, manual artwork. It was complete. It is complete. Um, next, I got the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Game of the Year Edition. It was supposed to be 12-something, um, but I got it for 9.57. I had a... Uh, $3 off coupon for that as well. It is complete. It's got both discs, manual, and artwork. And, um... I don't think this one actually had stickers on it, either. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, next three things I got. These are actually my last three 360 pickups. L.A. Noir, which was $8.99 at GameStop. Not complete, sadly. It does have all the discs, but, uh... The case they gave me, the top clip is broken. Uh, they actually double disc, disc 2 and 3, in this little paper sleeve. And I just went ahead and threw an extra Wii U uh, case divider in there. But uh, it does have artwork, and I beat it, played it, loved it. It's awesome. I'll probably beat it again. Uh, next, I got Gun for the 360, which was also $8.99. Not complete, it was disc only sadly, but this was my favorite game for the PlayStation 2. I've beat it three or four times, so why not beat it a fourth or fifth time on Xbox and get achievements for it? Uh, disc only, no artwork, no manual. I actually printed this artwork myself. You can probably tell my printer was running out of ink, so I'm going to go ahead and reprint that now that I actually have ink. And my last pickup was Mafia 2. I got this for free when I bought a... Uh, Gun in L.A. Noor, with those uh, buy two get one free promotion they were having going on. I went ahead and threw in a uh, disc divider and the add-on content disc. And it is complete, has manual and map. 
So it's pretty, pretty sweet. The only thing that sucks about it is the disc they gave me is Platinum Hits, and the game itself is not Platinum Hits. But besides that, well, actually nothing besides that. That's it. <laughs> All right, next I'll move on to my only GameCube pickup. I got Fairly Odd Parent Shadow Showdown for two ninety nine from Goodwill. Never actually played this one. I haven't gotten the chance to play it yet. I had a, uh, or I still have Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules for PS2, and it was fun. So if it's anything like that, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. It is in perfect condition, and it is complete. All right, next I'll, I guess I'll go to my NES pickups. I only got two. <clears throat> Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt I got for three dollars at a local comic store. Actually, it's called Cliff's Books. The back does say Shirley Senior on it. I'll go ahead and get that off with Magic Eraser or something. And this one, uh, it's called Pinbot. It's pretty fun. The back of the cartridge is in pretty good condition, but the front, I don't know if you can see it, it's like kind of brown in spots. So I'll have to clean that up. But they both play good. Both very fun games. Alright, next I'll go to my Game Boy pickups. I got the Wild Thornberry movie. The Wild Thornberries movie. The game. <laughs> Uh, the prices on these are not what I paid, so just ignore those. I'm just showing you guys what I got. Um, the Line Before Time, which I didn't even know had a game. I haven't gotten the chance to test any of these out, but I'm sure they all work. Uh, Rugrats Castle... Can't read the whole thing. Castle Capers. <clears throat> uh, Nickelodeon's Rugrats All Grown Up. It actually doesn't say Rugrats on the front, but I know that's what it is. Uh, express Yourself is what it's called. And the last one I got was Tech 2. The... I never actually played Tech 2. I've played the first one. Um, the Staff of Dreams. I got all five of these for 10 bucks at Video Game Trader. Uh, I usually don't go in there because they're overpriced, but I mean, I was originally just going to get two of these for 6 bucks, and then he's like, wait, those are five for 10. And I'm like, oh yeah. So I ended up doing that. Um, I guess we'll stick with handhelds for a little bit. I get Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic Tails, for, um, the Game Gear. That was a dollar at Cliff's Books. <clears throat> and next I will go on to my Sega Genesis pickups. Got Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat 2 for $3. $3 for both of them, not each. So like a dollar fifty a piece, kinda. I got those at the flea market. It's pretty awesome. Um... They do play, well I just like yelled, um, I don't know why I yelled. They do play, but you have to mess with them for quite a while before they actually, the video shows up. The audio always works, but the video takes a while to show up. Probably going to have to take these apart and uh, clean them. Alright, and then I got, wait for it, Angry Birds Rio 2 for the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. Obviously, this is a homebrewed game. There's the cartridge. Uh... Chinese slash Japanese cart. I got it from eBay for $12. I usually want to pay $12 for a piece of crap like this, but uh, I had $9 and a couple cents just sitting in my PayPal forever, so I was like, why not? Only $3 actually came from my pocket, so, you know, why not? Uh, next thing I got was Sega Genesis Model 1. Pretty awesome. It came with uh, power supply, and two controllers. One of the controllers works. The other one does not work. I'm not sure if the first one worked, like, originally. I actually took it apart, because if you shake it up, uh, it has, like, loose pieces, and I took those out, and it works fine. The second controller has the same problem, so maybe when I take it apart and clean it out, it'll work fine. But as of right now, only one of them actually works. I got this for... $19.16... Since that's after tax at Goodwill. Uh, it doesn't have an AV cord, but I do need one. Yeah. Not bad, though. It was in horrible condition. It was really dirty. I cleaned it up as much as I could. I'm going to take it apart one day and clean it up, probably, but I don't want to risk breaking anything. All right, next I have some things in this bag, which aren't necessarily... And eh, some of them are here. I'll just go ahead and do these first. I was going to say they're not necessarily video games, but they're video game related. Um, I got two of the, uh, I don't know what to call them, like the adapter pieces for the end of wired controllers for uh, the 360 controllers. I got two of those right there. They both work. 
Except, uh, well, I don't know, they're kind of weird. They're two different lengths, and they're two different colors at the end. One's black and one's white. I don't know if you guys can see that. But they do both work. And then I got a six-foot um, extension cord for the PS2 controller or PlayStation 1, whichever. I got all three of these cords for a dollar at a local thrift store called Our Father's Closet. I hate saying that because it just sounds so <laughs> weird to say. But, uh, alright, let's see what else is in here. <laughs> these are cool, I love these. I had these when I was, like, a baby baby. Not a baby baby, but, like, a toddler. Um, they're called Splashy Boys. I got a red one, a blue one, a yellow one, and then I got another blue one, because I'm going to keep these ones boxed just for the, you know, why not, just for the heck of it. And then... I went ahead and opened this one. The screen's actually wet because I had water in it. Uh, all you do is you push that down or that down, and it has two different little jets that they shoot out of up top. And you pretty much just go around splashing people. Uh, they were 69 cents each at Goodwill. And you know, 69 cents, I thought it was pretty cool. I say they're video game related just because they're shaped like a Game Boy, and they even kind of take the name Splashy Boy right out of Game Boy. So, uh, that's pretty, pretty cool. And then I got this stupid. I'm not a Skylanders fan, but some Mc what did I just say? Some McDonald's Skylanders toy. I don't know. I went to a thrift store and they had like a pack of McDonald's toys for like fifty cents. And my girlfriend collects. She has a pretty nice collection of Furbies from when she was a kid. And there was a Furby one in there, so I'm like, eh, fifty cents. You know, might as well. Um, I donated the rest back or gave them to whoever. And then I uh, just went ahead and kept this one for the heck of it. Gave her the Furby, kept that. I don't know. And my last pickup, you guys. Still not a video game, but it is very video game related, more than any of that, actually. Uh, this is a painting I got for three ninety nine at Goodwill. Right here. Uh, what side is that? This side is what you guys want to see. No, it's not. What am I doing? This side right here. Sorry, that webcam's like all stupid. You guys can't tell, but there's a dent right there. I'll go ahead and flip it over and show you guys what it is. It's uh, Mario riding a Yoshi with a cape. Pretty awesome for four bucks. Um, let me see if you guys can actually see that. There you go. Now you can if I hold it like that. It's got a dent, which sucks. But I'll still hang it up in my room. I think it'll be pretty cool. It was so funny. I was walking to the, um, the register, and Nick was holding that. And this kid walks by. This is at Goodwill, by the way. This kid walks by, he's looking at the games first, he's like, okay, okay, yeah, just a bunch of sports games, whatever. And then he walks away, and he sees the painting in Nick's hands, and he just goes, he just stops there in the middle of the hallway and just goes, whoa. And then he walks away, and that's it. But, uh, alright guys, those are my pickups. I'm sorry I said, uh, so many times. I'm trying to work on it, but it just kind of slipped my mind. And that's it. Subscribe for more. Oh, hey, I just realized something, actually. Mr. Uh, Shirley Sr. or Miss Shirley Sr. Maybe has a friend named Michelle as well. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. But there's a sticker in there that says Michelle on it. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know why I'm still recording. Bye, have a nice day. Subscribe for more. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. If not, just give it a dislike. I don't care. That's it. Bye.